I always say that the, the best way to learn how to draw a comic is to draw a comic. <laughs> when I started drawing, I was reading a lot of web comics and I wanted to do my own web comic as well. There are so many different kinds of comics that the comics industry is really a lot bigger than just the part that most people see. A lot of people assume that the comic book industry is really male dominated, but if you are a part of the industry, you can see that it is very much 50-50, if not more, leaning towards women. And that's one of the things that really inspired me. So with Elements Fire, I got to decide what they looked like and their mannerisms and how they interact with others. And I decided that I wanted, you know, everyone in there to be a person of color because white people aren't the only people that have adventures. <laughs> and I just, I, I see so many stories that involve people of color and it's always about the struggle, having to deal with racism. And it's like, that's really not all that we deal with. I really focus on trying to create a story and a character from their body movements, what kind of clothes they wear. I just try and, and pick a little bit of, of what is in their universe that makes them who they are. The creator, the original creator of Heart of the City, Mark Tatuli, was retiring. They wanted to continue, but also change it so that it was more for a, a readership for today, a more modern audience. Now I do Heart of the City full-time, and that is a daily comic that you can get in the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I know with Heart in particular, she's precocious and rambunctious, and uh, I wanted to find a way to take that because when Mark was doing it, she was a, a little girl, six or seven, but take that and move it into the middle school area. You know, what happens when you take that aggressive kind of personality and put it in middle school? You know, how do people react to it? How does she think about not just her relationship with her best friend, but her best friend's relationship with their other best friend, you know, and what does you know her living space look like and living with her mom being a single mother so I really just have to kind of imagine who is this person and what in their life makes them who they are and try and get that across in four panels <laughs> so I have to really try and find a way to take an idea and simplify it down enough so that it can be on the page but also clear enough that people understand what that is and that's really what cartooning is about. It's about taking something big, an idea, and making it a lot clearer. The idea of being nervous, of being anxious, is kind of a big idea, but what are some of the things that you do when you're nervous? Do you bite your nails? Do you sweat? Do you look to the left or to the right? And so you can then you have to pick, well, which one of those works better for the scene? So let's say I'm doing a strip for Heart of the City. I actually write all of the Heart of the City stories months and months ahead of time so that when I'm actually drawing them, I'm just pulling from stuff that I've already written. Then I'll do these roughs. So they're basically just really messy ideas of what's going to go on the strip. They're basically just placements, those roughs. The inks is really my favorite part because it's really more of solidifying the pencils that you've already done. You know, you really want to get something that you see in your mind, but getting on, on paper, it's, it's difficult. I think you can tell stories with all different kinds of art styles, and it's really about how you use the art to really evoke a feeling or get an idea across. I like to think that I, I pull, pick and pull from all kinds of people, you know? So the way I draw eyes comes from some person or the way I color comes from another, you know? So um, I think it just kind of is a, an amalgamation of all the things that I'm interested in. I, I can't think of any comic creator that doesn't want there to be comics 70 years from now, you know? And so if we want that to happen, we have to make sure that the landscape is good enough for everyone else to come into. So that's what I hope that I'm doing.